Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running on Empty Food Review. I am your host, the Report of the Week. So we have a new item out from KFC. That's right, you can see there's the Colonel, he's looking at you, right? He's looking right in there, and he's kind of, he's not really, but you know, he is, right? He sees you. Just, just saying, just getting that out there first and foremost. They have a new item out. They have the Cheetos Sandwich. And, uh, oh, I know, we've all been looking forward to the Cheetos Sandwich. And, uh, what is it exactly? People have been talking about this. People have been saying, this is revolutionary. This is the future of food as we know it. If this goes well, if all goes according to plan, you're going to be able to eat this five times a day. Every day for the rest of your life. That's right, so get ready. It's a Cheetos revolution, and the KFC is leading the charge. And uh, this is a crispy kernel sandwich. It's, it's, it's really like a slab of, I mean, I've, I've actually reviewed this before. It's just like a piece of their breaded um, chicken on the bun. Comes with mayo. Okay, right, has to have that. And then here's what we got. Cheetos sauce. You, you know, you ever go and, and get a bag of Cheetos, right? And you say to yourself, yeah, but I kind of want to just drink it, right? So you go and you put it under a uh, Bunsen burner and make sure it's just melted down and then you, you let it cool first, of course, and then you guzzle it down, right? I know I do, I did that last night. That's Cheetos sauce. Not really, but you know what I'm getting at. It's sauce that tastes like Cheetos. And then it also just, of course, comes with the Cheetos themselves. So it's supposed to be a very cheesy, Cheetos-esque chicken sandwich, again, courtesy of uh, KFC. And I gotta tell you, I mean, Cheetos, they get around. I, I really, I have to tell you, like, you know that Burger King, right? They do the, the flaming uh, hot Cheetos and the stuffed Cheetos and, you know. Well, now KFC is getting in on the action. They're saying, hey, hey, wait a minute, Burger King, don't be greedy, don't... Don't, don't do this to me. We want to get some of those Cheetos for us, too. So they are. All right, now this sandwich, if you want to just get it as a sandwich, which you can, that'll cost you $4.79. If you want to get it as the meal deal, which is what I got, uh, add $2 to that, $6.79. So you get it, of course, with your sandwich, some, you know, very wedge-cut fries. And then you get a drink, too. I'm going to be reviewing this one. It's a new Mountain Dew that's out called uh, their Sweet Lightning. Of course, it can't have any of that sour lightning or tangy lightning or, God forbid, that peanut butter flavored lightning. Uh, but this is their Sweet Lightning Mountain Dew, which uh, is supposed to be, anyway, a combination of peach and honey flavor, and it's supposed to be the KFC version of Mountain Dew Baja Blast, which we'll see. I am always a big fan of Mountain Dew Baja Blast, if I say so myself. And uh, this just came out the other day, so I really, I rushed over to, I rushed over to do this. I'm sorry, I hope this isn't impetuously done, but I don't want it to be haphazard, but I really, I went over and got this, because this has really been promoted for a while. Everyone's talking about it, and then uh, we'll see. Anyway, you can see there's the fries right there, right? The container of fries. And this should be the uh, sandwich, you can see it says special, and right, you can see this, look at that, you can't really see much of anything, but then you turn it, isn't that terrifying, I think it is, here we go, there it is, you can see, it's very reminiscent to how it actually looks in the advertisement. I gotta give them credit on that. And you know what? I wanna be completely and totally 100% honest and transparent right now. All right? Let me, let me be honest. When I do these reviews, I always go in here with an impartial view toward things. You know? And that's what I'm doing today. Let's see, is it, gonna, is it gonna focus? Hello, hi camera, there we go. I always go in with an impartial view towards things. 
But I'll admit it, do I have my biases? Yeah, absolutely. I looked at this item and I thought to myself, man, this looks kind of gross. But at the same time, I have to say to myself, yeah, but you know what? You might have your reservations. You might think that it looks a little gross, that it's not something you'd get all the time. You can't judge a book by its cover, just like with that pizza we reviewed the other day, right? Didn't look like the world's best pizza, but it sure tasted good. So I say to myself, you know what? Yeah, this might not be something I would get every day. I'm not a big Cheetos fan. I wouldn't get something with, you know, all the mayo right there and stuff. But you know what? Maybe it'll all go together well, and it's gonna be a tasty sandwich. So who's to say? I like saying sandwich like that. So anyway, we know what's on it. It does look like the advertisement, though. And the one thing you have to be uh, wary of is that it's not gonna be drenched in the sauce. I've seen this a couple times now. We have the sauce covering most of it, but you will have portions of the chicken with no Cheetos sauce. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see how cheesy it is, how flavorful it is. And I already have kind of the, well, not really, but the, the orange hands that they, that they so claim you would get from these. All right, anyway, we know what's in it. I know what's in it. You know what's in it. We all know what's in it. Cheetos sandwich from KFC going in. I'll take one more bite. I guess it's a good segue into it. You know, you know what? I was just saying about making sure I don't have, I don't want to get that on the shirt. I was saying, don't judge a book by its cover. That's I, I was kind of saying that in the last video. It's something that holds true. All right, look, I saw this. I thought, yeah, it, it's going to be some gimmicky sandwich. It's probably going to be gross, right? But you got to be open-minded and you got to say to yourself, yeah, but what if it's not? You gotta be ready for anything, good or bad. And it's tasty. Look, it is a lot better than I thought it was, okay? Now, you have to have a certain set of expectations when you go into here. Number one, you have to realize, yes, it's fast food. Number two, do I like Cheetos? Am I a fan of like that little cheesiness that it'll come in with? If you say, no, I hate Cheetos. I, I despise Cheetos. I detest Cheetos. I abhor Cheetos. They disgust me and you know, so on, you can go on all day. You're not gonna like this sandwich. But if you don't mind that little bit of cheesiness, you don't mind the Cheeto flavor, you're gonna like it, I gotta tell you. The mayo, it's not overwhelming. It's fine, I didn't have a problem with it at all. The bread is the most flavorless thing on the sandwich, but it's okay, they're not advertising the bread, they're not saying that it's gonna be special Cheetos bread or something like that, right? It just holds it together and it does its job. The chicken, it's flavorful, look, it's juicy, okay? It's a little, it's lightly breaded, has a little bit of crunch to it. The Cheeto sauce, you know what? A little goes a long way. I was worried, I thought there's not gonna be a lot of coverage, it's not gonna really, you're not gonna taste anything, but a little goes a long way. You really do taste that Cheetos flavor, and you get that cheesiness in there, 
but it is not overwhelming. It's there, it's with every single bite, but it's not overwhelming, which is good. You don't want there to be way too much that it'll ruin everything, nor too little. They got a good amount. It might look like it's a little light on that sauce, but again, it's more potent, and like I said, a little goes a long way. Now, the mayo is completely innocuous. It, it, it doesn't bother me at all. It gives it a little moisture. Uh, it, lo there, it looks like there is more than there really is, I think, because it doesn't... It's, it's completely inoffensive, okay? The Cheeto pieces that are on there as well, again, contribute to that crunchiness. They are a lot cr they're, they're crunchy. It's like they're these soggy, limp little things. No, they're crunchy. They have that crunch in every bite. You really, you're gonna be able to taste them, I tell you that. And uh, overall, it's gimmicky, yes. It's a gimmicky, of course. But it goes together well. And for a gimmick, they did a good job with it, I feel. They put it together and they made a tasty, cheesy sandwich. So that, that said, out of 10, uh, again, price for this $4.79. I'm going to give it a, well, you know, the last one I gave an 8. I'll, I'll give this one an 8.1 out of 10. Because, again, I'm impressed by it. I think it's fine. For what it is, it's completely fine. Just remember, if you don't like things that are really cheesy or you're not a Cheetos fan, then you might not be the biggest fan of this one. And also, I'm just going to take a quick sip of the uh, Sweet Lightning Mountain Dew. It's all right for what it is. I mean, I you know I notice. I do taste the peaches. I don't really taste the honey though. It's more like a peach flavor Mountain Dew. Like honey is a really potent flavor. It's really really sweet. If you get this, you're gonna notice the peach flavor, not so much the uh, the honey. So that said, out of that, I'm I'm gonna give that a uh, a 4.5 out of 10, just because yeah, could be a little bit more like I described it. And that's just where it's lacking. All right, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. And make sure you check out my new podcast coming up this Thursday, youtube.com slash podcast, And the average day video is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this review. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and do take care.